Welcome to Mac Automation Made Simple. This series focuses on providing tips and tricks for using AppleScript and Automator in Mac OS X. Hi, I'm your host, Ben Waldy. In this first episode of Mac Automation Made Simple, I'll be walking through the process of creating a simple image processing automator workflow in Mac OS X Leopard. What many Mac users don't know is that Automator gives you the ability to perform some basic image manipulations without the need for a third-party image editor. With nothing more than Mac OS X and Automator, you can do things like resize images, crop images, convert images from one type to another, and more. I'll be creating a workflow that will apply a filter to a batch of images. I'll begin by going into the Automator application, which you can find in your Applications folder. As you can see, Automator displays a starting points window, allowing me to choose the type of workflow I want to create. Since I'll be creating a workflow that processes images, I'll choose Photos and Images. Next, Automator asks me to specify the location of the content I want to process. I've got a folder of image files on my desktop, so I'll choose to get content from my Mac and to ask me for image files now. Next, I'll click the Choose button and I'm asked to choose the images that I want to process. So I'll choose images from the folder on my desktop. Now, Automator starts the workflow for me by inserting a Get Specified Finder Items action and configuring it with the image files I selected. I can now build onto this workflow by adding some additional actions. I want to apply a filter to these images, so I need to find a filter action. One way that I can do this is to type a keyword such as filter into the search field at the top of Automator's action library. I can narrow down the list further by clicking on an appropriate category of actions such as photos. Here the action I want is called apply quartz composition filter to image files and I'll drag it to the end of my workflow area. When I do this Automator displays an alert letting me know that this action will modify my image files. It suggests inserting a copy finder items action first so that my originals remain intact. This is always a good idea, so I'll click the Add button to insert this action too. Now the copy finder items action should have been linked to the get specified finder items action above. Now for whatever reason, perhaps a bug in Automator, it did not get linked. To fix the problem, I'll hold down the control key and click on the Copy Finder Items Actions title. Next, I'll choose Disable to disable the action. Then I'll control click on the title bar of the Copy Finder Items Action again and choose Enable to re-enable it. Now you can see that the actions are linked together. I'll leave the Copy Finder Items Action set to copy images to my desktop for processing. For the filter action, however, I want to apply a filter that will change my images to grayscale. So, I'll choose black and white from the list of filters. As you can see, a preview is displayed, so I can see how the filter will work. My workflow is now complete. I can now run the workflow by clicking the Run button in Automator's toolbar. And in a few seconds, my images are finished processing. I'll delete these for now. Now that I've got my workflow working, I may want to make it a bit more useful. Maybe I don't want to apply a black and white filter every time the workflow runs. So I'll go back to Automator, and I'll click the Options button at the bottom of the Apply Quartz Composition Filter action. I'll click this checkbox to show the actions interface when the workflow runs. Now if I run my workflow, Automator shows me the action and I can choose a different filter. I'll choose Color Pencil. And if I look at my images, the new filter has been applied. I'll delete these images again and go back into Automator. Now I probably don't want to process these exact images every time I run the workflow. So I'll delete the Get Specified Finder Items action from the workflow. Next, 
I'll choose Save As from the File menu, and I'll save my workflow to the desktop as an application. I'll call it Apply Filter to Images. Automator workflows that are saved as applications are drag and droppable. So if I want to process image files, I can simply drag them onto the workflow. And you can see the workflow runs, and I can choose a filter. I can take this workflow one step further. This time I'll save the workflow as a plugin from the file menu. And I'll save it as a finder plugin called Apply Filter to Images. Anytime I want to process images with the workflow, I can simply select the images in the finder, press the control key and click on them to display the finder's contextual menu, and choose More, Automator, Apply Filter to Images. It's that easy. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Mac Automation Made Simple. Until next time, automate your Mac and simplify your life. For more on Automator, check out Ben Waldy's Automator Visual Quick Start Guide, available from Peach Pit Press.